Welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. I'm your host, Gamer, and today I just wanted to update you as soon as I could. Welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. I'm your host, Gamer, and today we have some news. So, just got my computer back. And I'm going to turn on the power. The 240R MSI Core Liquid Mag 240R AIO with the um, coolant replacement. So, I have learned something since my last video, and that is, if a radiator is manufactured in a factory, comes out, right, off the conveyor or where, wherever, and just the radiator itself, that needs to be cleaned out, the inside cleaned out which smooths the surfaces so there's no bits of metal sticking out so it's all nice and smooth and polished on the inside you use appropriate chemicals to do so great well if msi has not done this evidently you cannot fix this issue with just putting in biocides and corrosion inhibitors. Now, whether or not this is the case, I don't know. But my AIO started to make some clicking noise, metallic clicking in the pump. Very, very small, very light. And my temperatures started to go down a bit. So one of the mistakes that I made is I tightened the uh, tightened the AIO onto the CPU because I was my my temperatures were not good and I thought that perhaps there wasn't enough contact there. So if you've got your CPU with which, which is then placed upon these pins on the motherboard, you don't want it really tight actually, because then you can bend the pins, which is what happened. Everything was working fine. I took, took, it, took, it, uh, took it apart so that um, I could get a new Corsair AIO placed in the computer. So I took the 240R back to where I bought it, and um, it's only a few months old, and I had it uh, exchange it for a Corsair AIO. And there is a shortage, there are shortages of AIOs in my area. Maybe because of all the ones failing mm-hmm so I had to pay some extra money to get the Corsair because it's better quality obviously and that's fine I just want it to work now all right so I couldn't just at this stage take the 240R apart and clean it and whatever <sighs> no no No, it's just too much of a risk and a headache, and I just needed to get rid of it. And I apologize for that, uh, but this was a decision I made right after I found out about this possibility that the radiator was not cleaned out at the beginning, and, and that's why so many are failing, if not every single one. 360Rs and 240Rs, cord liquid, MSI, MAG, AIOs. Just check the reviews on Amazon. One star, two star, three star. Even the V2s, the new version that was came out at the same time the Alder Lake bracket came out with the V2. Okay? I don't think 
you know, the coolant or the cleaning or anything was improved uh, internally that I know of because I have seen on Amazon uh, some failures. So, mm, this is an issue. Well, my serial number did not come up with the, uh, the swap program either. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is a brand new Corsair and they did not give me the box. Oh, I wanted the box. Okay, we're gonna do a plastic peel. Okay. Ta-da! So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna start Cinebench up, um, zero the two programs, and put the microphone um, at the, the fans. Okay, over here. This is the sound of all the fans. I've got two 200 millimeter fans, which are really quiet. I've got a 120 exhaust, which is very quiet. Um, that's a Lee and Lee fan. Um, and the 200 mils with the Lee and Lee's. And then I've got two 120s up here in the AIO I -O, uh, Corsair fans. Um, very nice, very quiet so far. Okay, so. Let's start her up, multi-core. Okay. So I've got the microphone on the fans. You can feel more heat coming through. But not much change in the, uh, in the sound, it's fantastic. Okay, so we got a maximum temperature of 76. And we're running all core 4.7 megahertz on the P cores. And we're at 3.6 gigahertz on the efficient cores. Maximum of 78, and our average package temperature at the moment is 73 degrees. Got a maximum wattage of 195 watts so far. So fans. Yes, fans have come up a little bit, but the sound is great. I can deal with that sound, that's for sure. Okay, so we have finished our first Cinebench run with our new AIO. Cinebench score 21,551, that's Cinebench 23. Okay, that was all core. Performance score 4.7 gigahertz and the efficient cores 3.6. So that was stock, stock settings, okay? Um, and our maximum peak temperature with a new Corsair 240 AIO, 78 degrees peak. Oh, beautiful. We're averaging about 73 degrees. <laughs> What a difference a good AIO makes, okay? Okay, thanks for joining us here on PC Gaming Tech Summary. Just wanted to get this info to you as soon as possible so you can make your decisions and keep an eye out for your temperatures. All right. And uh, don't forget, you'll be seeing me in the next video.